Bonsoir Paris! Hey you guys, it is William Colling from Wee Wee Blogs and I am super excited. My day started with Slimane and it's gonna end with Slimane. That's because France's Eurovision 2024 singer has revealed his song Mon Amour and even more impressive, he performed it live on French television this evening. Dabon! Hey you guys! Hey, William. Oh, my God. Eurovision 2024. What's the slogan? We don't know, but we have, we know the some of the artists that are going to be competing. And what else do we know? We actually have a song. Hey, France. Bon chance. You got to that race real quick. Should we talk about it? <laughs> Let's, Let's do this. this. And you guys, when I say that I started my day with Slaman, I really mean I started my day with Slaman. It was super early. He was kind enough to give his first interview after the announcement to us. It was so emotional. This man has so much gravitas, but he is so kind. He is so sincere. He is so sweet. Just a gentle giant of the music scene. You can check that video out here on the Wee Wee Blogs YouTube channel. Now, before I hit Palais, I should say that our French blogger Orany has sent me a brief translation of the chorus. He says, I love you. I don't know why I replay the scene, but it's always the same ending. You don't hear me. What shall we do with my pain? Do you love me or not? My love, I'll do everything I can. An ocean in the fire, the impossible if you want. That's beautiful. So basically, he's trying to get somebody back. He is in love with someone who's no longer there. I am ready to hit play. Oh. This is so emotional instantly. Beautiful voice. The voice is beautiful. Oof. I'll never forget, Bo. He's nostalgic. He's longing. Oh, I love this. Mm. Oh, he can sing. Oof. This is giving me Game of Thrones, the couture, disco I mom. loves you, hunty. Oh. So poetic. These are complicated emotions. You hear the anger, the pain, but you see the smile, the memory, the love. Thumping progression. This is powerful. <laughs> the production's on point. Melodic. I don't even want to talk, I just want to listen. Oh. Sensitive and vulnerable. This is a performance. This is beautiful. I know it's silly, but that's what I'll do. Filled with hope, I will wait for you. This is like an entire musical in one song. Oh, giving me daughter. Giving me North Macedonia 2021. Oh, oh I love it. This is how you build. Excellent. Oh, oh. I love you, girl. Oh, he's gonna blow! Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. And fade to blow. Oh, wow. 
Ask it to ma'am? Let me answer that. We, we, blogs.com, honey. That was amazing. Look, th I want to say so much. My first thought is sort of of San Remo, actually, in Italy, and how they have these stars, these mega stars like Marco Mingoni or Diodato, who perform songs that are classical and timeless, yet that are also modern and somehow produced for today. This is giving me that, and those acts did very well in the case of Marco Mingoni and would have done really well with Diodato. Those are mega stars, and Sleman, he's a mega star. With this, he's able to give us a pop product. Yes, it's got kind of, it's pop, there's some R&B underneath it faintly, and yet it's so classical. It is so French. It's merging these worlds, melding these worlds. You know, Barbara Pravi from France a few years ago, second place, very, very classic, very, very chic. She made it modern through her clothing. The staging was beautiful. This is giving me those kind of vibes. I think this feels slightly more modern and more kind of contemporary. And live, he's going to be even better. Like, on the stage is what I mean. Like, he's a performer. That live performance was beautiful. There was some stage direction going on, though. I mean, come on. That was like, that was like a musical theater performance in three minutes. Fantastic. I think live, when we hear maybe no filter, nothing, you're going to see the grit, the emotion come out even more. You know, certain people are better live. I feel like he's going to be even better live. And that was pretty good. You know, from the darkness, from the darkness, he took us on this journey because his emotion is not straightforward, right? You know he's in pain. You can read the translation on the lyrics in that video. He's in pain. He's longing. But then at certain times, he's got this smile. And at other moments, he's almost laughing because he's remembering the person he loves. And then he's angry. And the song builds and builds. And the final minute is the best minute. That's what you want. So often with songs at Eurovision and indeed on the radio outside of Eurovision is they'll have these great moments, maybe a great chorus, maybe a great, and some great verses. This builds. It builds until the end. That final minute, that different direction, he's a cannonball, a musical cannonball, like exploding. It's just very, very powerful. Staging will obviously be key, obviously be key to this. But I think already, even in this like live performance recording, they had really, really nice visuals. I think this was about showing off what he's able to emote and how he's able to literally use every inch of his body, the hands, right? At certain moments, you just saw a hand. At certain moments, you just saw a beard. You just saw a beard and you were already feeling things. That's the power of Sleiman. Now look, Sleiman. I'm calling him Sleiman because that was a sleigh. Oh, wow. Do you know what? Usually when people race this early to release their records, I'm like, oh, is this what? Is this why we had to rush? Take your time and represent. However, on this occasion, you have cooked it just right. Sliman is a force to be reckoned with. I mean, like he is a force of nature. He's a force in the industry. This guy literally competed in The Voice, won the whole thing, and has gone on to a fantastically successful career with number one charting albums in France and internationally. Can I just point out, actually, I must tell you this, his lowest charting album in his home country is number one. <laughs> Yes, that's right. My man has four albums and they've all been chart toppers. Aside from that, he's rippling up in the singles chart as well. His collaboration, uh, he had a... Boo! We are talking major, major artist here. And what I love about this is just the honesty and the sincerity of it. There's a vulnerability here and it just touches you, it cradles you. And there's thought in this entry, right? wardrobe, armour, but he's not laying it down. What he's doing is that he's bearing his soul. Sliman's stage presence is just beyond amazing. He actually, the opening shot is just his fingers, right, his arms, and he, he kind of pulls you in. 
And by the time he starts belting, je t'aime. Did we have that rendezvous in Paris? Yes, we did. And I'm on the phone to Air France to get that ticket rerouted to Charles de Gaulle. I'm all about this. This is fantastic. I'm really excited. And this will just keep that fire burning. This is tinkering. There are concerns though. I mean, a part of me feels that this is slightly, a little bit misplaced. Back in the sort of like the golden era of Eurovision when it was like a full-blown orchestra, this will just win the whole thing. Get your bags ready. Nice for Junior, Paris for Eurovision itself. This would have smashed it into. But now you're competing against pre-recorded backing vocals. Certainly no live instruments. It's a different kind of era, different kind of feel. And how this will fit in Eurovision 2024 is anybody's guess, but it's not a plain sailing into the victory spot. It's not clear at this point. However, France is an automatic qualifier and automatic qualifiers do need respectable entries to feature in the Eurovision Grand Final. And this is respectable. This is a fabulous show opener. It's a fabulous show closer. And you can, sand it, you can sandwich this entry in between, yeah, in between whatever. This, this is so classic, sits on its own and kind of can go on to be a timeless. I actually don't want a Euro Club mix for this. I think it's too pure. And I think that any kind of alterations to it will, you know, could potentially adulterate it. And that's the last thing you want. Well, look, long story short for me, I think that with the juries, this is gonna absolutely kill. Already this early, you can tell this is gonna do well with the juries because it is melodic, it is beautiful, it has gravitas, it has purpose, and Slaman can perform. So that's looking like, I'm already really confident that's like top five jury done. With the public, I think staging is gonna be crucial, but France has shown us they have ambition and they know how to get it right. That Barbara Pravi staging was incredible. It, you know, the shaky camera swirling around her, that singular light, woman on the big stage, they can work with this. And I'm really hopeful and confident that through magical staging, this can also come near the top with the public. It's looking good for France. Slaman has a massive fan base. They're gonna be voting. All of his fans are not just in France, by the way. They are outside of France too. 12 points incoming from Belgium. He talked about Geneva in our interview and the importance of that. 12 points coming from Switzerland. We already got 24 points on the table, y'all. No, I just, I'm feeling really confident about this. I'm feeling so confident this is gonna do well. And you know what? Now he's going on this massive tour all across France and Belgium. He can kind of not put Eurovision out of mind, but he can focus on doing his thing, which is performing. France too, they've got time. They've got the runway to do their plans behind the scene. They're gonna get back together. They're gonna marry their ideas. Let's go. Allez-vous on, honey, let's do this. <laughs> Slimane is a credible performer. And of course he's had, he's found chart success in Belgium and in Switzerland and no doubt um, his fans will be voting in on the night. Of course, his origins are Algerian. So again, I like the idea of representing France, but actually your DNA goes beyond borders. I, I'm, I'm very happy about this. This is, this is beautiful. France, I think, actually in recent years, I mean, so, so many French entries I love. Ah, oh, what's that song? Honora Lucie. Da, da, da. Sophie Merist Mestari, I love that. Chacon Pons as well. I, Sebastian Tellier, Amir. Um, oh, what's that one? Thank you, Adile. Da, da, da. Bilal Hassani. I mean, it, when you look at the retrospective, Madame Monsieur, <laughs> killing it. Killing it. Even Avida on fire. And Sliman, welcome to the stable. I'm very happy to have you here. Well, that's what we think. What do you think? Are you feeling good about Sliman, Sleiman? Do you think he's gonna slay the competition? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. Are you on Pinterest? If you are, follow Wee Wee Blogs on Pinterest and we will see you later. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.